Hello and welcome to another update video about Koti. Koti is doing what it should be doing um, or going according to plan at the moment. Um, Koti is in this descending wedge still. Yeah. Um, in the last video, we were around 21 cents. In that video, I told you that because we did already break, I think we were here on the 20th of February. You can see that candle here, here on the daily chart. We did on that day broke a break slightly below this 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level at 20.6 cents. And I told you because we did that and formed a lower low that we can expect lower prices, possibly all the way down to the 88.7% FIB level at 15 cents. Now it didn't get quite to 15 cents, but we found support at the support line of this descending wedge. And um, therefore that was fulfilled. We came down lower, found support, quite a strong support you can see the long wick that came to the downside and now we are starting to move up now we did not unfortunately touch the, the 15 cent level i would have loved to see that because that would have meant that we came all the way down to the 88.7 percent fib level we found a reaction to a fib level and i would have been very very happy i'm still happy because we are in the target area we have completed the requirements for a correction we have come below the wave A, so if I count this in terms of um, elite waves, we've got first of all this five wave move to the upside and the all time high, and then we came down on wave A, made a wave B, and are now in that wave C. Um, I think we are really, if we haven't seen the low yet, then we are in the last meters here of the correction. Um, yes, certainly the downtrend isn't over yet, at least we have no confirmation that it is. For me, the positive things, however, start to add up for many of the altcoins that have already seen this target area, okay? Um, that is very, very important. I mean, what we can see here, I mean, let me narrow down this target area now to the 78.6 to 88.7% FIB level because we've come into it, right? And we have seen a fairly strong reaction to that target area. We, we can't deny it and we have already come out of it again, okay? It's the first time that we've come into this target area and that we've come out of it. And we have a descending wedge, which is a bullish pattern. The last time we had such a descending wedge here at the end of a correction was here. That was back in June 21, after which we saw new all-time highs. And again, I think we are very close to completing that correction and it won't take much longer in my view, yeah? If we break above this descending wedge and the breakout point would be here at around yeah, 22, 23 cents. So we're pretty much there now. I think the bulls are currently fighting here with the bears to really do the breakout. And again, we need to see who's winning. I can't tell you that now. Um, we need to see, but I can tell you if we break out here, that will unlock higher prices. In that case, I think we're going to see the next resistance level. And let me take that line out here. And in terms of the next resistance, I would mainly focus on the next FIB level here at 30 cents, yeah, that is the 61.8% FIB level, yeah, um, absolutely, 30 cents is a very, very important level for Koti, and beyond that we've got then 37 cents, that is the 0.5% FIB level. In terms of support, next support line will be here at, um, yeah, 20 cents, or 20.8, that is here the, um, or 20.6, sorry. That's the 78.6% FIB level, and below that, we've got the um, 15 cent level, the 88.7% FIB level. So it's all really at a tipping point here, because we need to see if the price is breaking out of that descending wedge. Some cryptos are in the same pattern, and they have already broken out, and we've seen a price increase after that. So yeah, of course, if Koti manages to do it, we can expect here a bit of a run to the upside. Let's take a look where we are in terms of the EMA ribbon. Are we um, have we have we done anything that helps the price? Well, you can see that on the four-hour chart we have had a long signal here. We have broken above the EMA ribbon on the four-hour chart, so that is positive. Positive. It gives us a long signal. By the way, not every long signal means that we have to go to the moon from here. No, um, but it's a positive sign that the price has broken above the EMA ribbon. Um, on the eight hour chart, we don't have the long signal yet, but we can see that the price is trying to push higher than the EMA ribbon, hasn't won yet the fight. And on the daily, we will consequently see that we are below the EMA ribbon. So that is where we need to get beyond the daily EMA ribbon. 
um, which means we need to get at least to 28 cents. So the 30 cent level that I talked about is a really important level, not only in terms of next resistance, but also a level that when we reach 30, sec uh, 30 cents, then we can be possibly, yeah, we, we can be quite confident that the low could be already in because um, yeah, you reach next resistance, but also you break on the daily above the EMA ribbon. Um, looking generally at the indicators down here, I mean, we're on the, on the daily chart now, we can see that while the buying momentum or the momentum is increasing on the RSI, we're still below 50 in the bearish range, but the MACD is making here a bullish crossover. A few days ago, we've seen that. And we can see that the positive things, I think, um, are adding up just on the higher time frames. We need to see a little bit more. The two day chart and the four day chart here, we haven't seen bullish crossover yet. But on the two day chart, it might come here in the next couple of days. So that is important. Um, the weekly is still moving sideways. So we need to see that turning around for a more sustainable move up. Um, for me at the moment, it really it really is dependent on do we break out of this descending wedge here now? Yeah, because if we don't, then you can be rejected and you just move down and you can really then see this 88.7 percent FIP level down there at 15 cents. For me, the message is clear, you know, we have hit the target area, the correction requirements, the correction requirements are all fulfilled and at any point in time, we can now get to um, into the next major wave to the upside. Yes, small downside potential is still there, but we also need to bear in mind that going in long now is probably much less risky than it was when we were around 50 cents, 40 cents, yeah? Because the downside potential is limited. I mean, where does it want to go? Of course, it could fall to 15 cents. Can it fall below it? Yes, but even then, the, the, the reward or the risk to reward is just in a much more interesting uh, relationship these days because the prices are quite low compared to where we were back in November. So the next major wave up should take Coty at least to a dollar, the 1.618 extension here, yeah, but probably even here to 121. And these are the minimum targets. Okay, so yeah, really interested here. Um, hate the target area. Also here, potential that the low was already in. All right, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.